What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening, you guys? There might be several videos that go up today because yesterday's video didn't post. Okay. All Gemini placements, take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, a check of the description uh, box. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, you guys. Hit that subscribe. I appreciate you a ton for being here. Okay. So let's see what's going on here with you. So we have healing family issues and we have getting to know each other. So you may have a new energy or you're starting fresh with someone here. I am seeing some lessons here for some of you. Playfulness and attraction. I saw that reconciliation sticking out. So um, some of you may be reconciled with somebody as well. A Gemini's. Also, I, I kept seeing the judgment too. So some of you guys might be reconciling with someone. Uh, making things work with somebody. Six of Wands. Ooh, the Tower. Ooh, we. Now, first thing I get from this is um, somebody wanting some type of victory with you. And it could be some someone um, saying something out loud or saying something um, on social media or something along the lines of that, you guys. This could also be like this person kind of putting their ego and stuff to the side. Or you could have reconciled with somebody and it kind of went left real quick. <laughs> Seven of Cups, yeah. Now, uh, this card says, as you reveal your innermost selves, um, wait, what does this say? Yeah, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you build, your bond deepens. So, I feel like with this Seven of Cups, you two, you still have a lot to learn about a person. There's still a lot for you to learn about someone or someone feels this way about you. Also, get someone may fantasize a lot about you. Like, you're in someone's dreams, fantasies, all that good stuff. Ah. Okay, so what almost flipped over? Two of Wands. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups here. The Nine of Cups. The High Refin. Lots of cards flipped over. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like you might show up in somebody's dreams or fantasies or something like that. Uh, Gemini. This could be a Sash. The Temperance card here. Someone may invite you out, have some fun. Aw, the star. All right, we got the Knight of Wands. Heavy Sag, we're also seeing the Page of Swords over here, the Queen of Cups, um, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, yeah. Might be a Sag for some of you, Air Sign. So yeah, Gemini's. Someone is like drawn to you for whatever reason. <laughs> Um, someone has a very, very, very strong, um, uh, attraction to you, uh, Gemini's. It also makes me too, like, makes me think sometimes a star can be like out of reach to some people and someone may see you as kind of out of reach. Now it would be, it would make sense if the high priestess comes out with that, but yeah, uh, you may, someone may see you as like. Put you on a pedestal. It's, I'm hearing the song um, uh, Superstar by Usher. And you know he says, I'll be your groupie, baby. That's what I get with that. Like somebody, someone sees you as in very high regard. Um, and I feel like someone is, is wanting to like uh, find a way to incorporate you into their life. Or or Spirit is asking you, Gemini's, to, to figure out how to, um, how to make your differences work with a person. Um, especially with the getting to know each other. Cause I feel like some of you, you may have more in common with, with someone than you realize or than you realized in the past. Yeah. Uh, the Hierophant, the devil here on the bottom, the Ten of Swords. Okay. So this makes me feel like there could be some belief systems that, that could come from a family dynamic. And this could be with either one of your side. Also, this person may have someone in their family or close to them that they talk to about you or confide in um, in some way, shape or form. And they may have someone like telling them, like, why don't you just reach out? or Why don't you just, um, you know, extend your hand or whatever the case may be um, in order to make this work out? Now, again, this could also just be a belief system that this person has. 
uh, especially with the devil here. Like someone could be uh, a little bit set in their ways or their family is a little toxic. <laughs> their family has contributed to a lot of their um, their toxic ways, Gemini's. Or it could simply just be like their family belief system, which a lot of people have that. A lot of people have toxic families um, or, or toxic family belief systems that, that kind of keep them stuck and keep them uh, hindered in life. King of Swords here could be an Aquarius for some of you. I feel like uh, there's there's you two need to talk. You need to talk to someone. I mean, like really get down through there with whoever this is, because I feel like all the differences you have with a person might not really be differences, uh, if that makes sense. And if you do have, you feel like you have a lot, have a lot of differences with someone. I can't even talk now. Um, you need to try to find like the similarities between the two. Whoa. <laughs> seven of wands yeah <laughs> there's that six of wands again yep i feel like whoever this is this is you had this is someone that that had all of your attention at one point and now that they don't hold on guys oh yeah oh goodness gracious let me fix my spread because now my spread is all messed up yeah I'm seeing the death card and the seven of pentacles. So it could be a change in, in somebody's um, relationship status. So this could be either or. This could be like a, a, a long friendship ending. Or this could be like a long friendship turning into a love situation. Um, if that makes sense. So take that high resonates with you. Especially with the six of wands here on the bottom. Like someone is wanting to be more than friends with you, uh, Gemini. Some of you, this is a friendship that you've had for a long time. Take it how it resonates. So friends with benefits, whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't have to be that. But heavy Aquarius in the spread, heavy Sag uh, in the spread. Oh, child. Lordy. Okay. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. The devil. All right. Then we have the a two of a cups. Uh, yeah. So uh, whoever this is, uh, Gemini's, is definitely attached to you. There's a strong connection. I feel like this person wants your connection to be, um, or your attraction to be, just as strong towards them as they it is as it is to you, um, Gemini's. Now I do feel like whoever this is is a. Um, I don't want to say they're set in their ways, but they get very fixated on things. And I feel like this person is very fixated on you and fixated on uh, making this work out. Okay. For some of you, this is like some type of um, soul tie, twin flame type situation too. Uh, but yeah, someone's kind of wanting to create a bond with you. And I feel like somebody is wanting to be like meshed together uh, with you. Gemini's. I'm getting someone that is is wanting to know like everything about you type of thing and they may even ask you because I feel like even if you've known somebody for a long time I don't feel like y'all really know each other or you both could have grown and evolved to an extent and now you're having to relearn each other too so take that how it resonates but I feel like someone here is like really dedicated to um to getting this off the ground or to to finding out more about you, uh, Gemini's, or the similarities between you two instead of focusing on the differences that y'all have. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Six of Wands again in the same place. I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So Fives are significant, Eight of Wands, yeah. Yeah, something's going to be moving very quickly uh, for you and someone. Wow, there's that devil again. The lovers flipped out over here. Yeah, Gemini's, what is going on here? I'm seeing the page of wands and the devil as well. So again, could be a Capricorn, could be a Gemini, another Gemini. I told you somebody wants to get to know you. And I mean like on a deep level, like this person literally wants to know everything about you because I feel like at one point there was, you two may have just kind of dealt with each other. It could have just been like a physical thing too. And like you really didn't 
like get to know each other and i feel like this is what they want they they want to really 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 like dive in they may even ask you a bunch of questions too which i've gotten other readings for you heavy soulmate vibes okay it could be a twin flame uh as well like i said earlier but i kind of got that with the two of cups so you have a very strong bond with someone or with this person um gemini's heavy heavy soulmate and they may even say that they may even say they feel like you know y'all are soulmates this person fantasizes about you two being together and you know living together or whatever the case may be they think about it all the time the strength card here mm-hmm they try to tame that beast child yep four of cups <laughs> gemini someone is more into you than they lead on so if they haven't if they haven't expressed this yet um just just give it some time and you'll you'll kind of start to see a different side of them but they do hold in a lot but the strength card can also be a very strong bond. So I feel like someone is wanting to develop a, a strong bond with you, like I said. And I feel like they, they don't want you to go anywhere. And they want you to be just as obsessed with them as, as they are with you, um, Gemini's. So whatever they got to do, they will do it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so... Um, let me cover up the world. Let me see if I if I gotta cover her up because she's in nude. <laughs> no, it's all right. I think I think that's good. Um, and then we have the tower here and the two of cups again. So we have the two of cups right here as well, and the hermit. So someone may be coming at a hermit, or like I said, Gemini, your relationship status changing, especially here at the tower before the two of cups. I feel like that could be. Um, something in your, your relationship status is changing for some of you. So if you've been by yourself for a while, um, or whatever the case may be, uh, you, you won't be for in, in a few, like, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, um, yeah, I feel like something is, is there's a massive change in your relationship sector for the positive though. Like you coming together with someone after some type of fallout, some type of misunderstanding, um or whatever the case may be like i said i feel like somebody's wanting to like clear it up clear up the misunderstanding or whatever the case may be a gemini's <laughs> yeah so as i pick up this deck what falls out to my hand is are you seeing someone else i told you someone may start asking you a whole bunch of questions um because and i feel like they genuinely want to know like someone really really wants to know a lot about you um, know everything about you because I feel like someone they may have like neglected that at one point like neglected getting to know you like genuinely because they may have been hyper fixated on like physical stuff or you know going out having fun and you know you'll know what y'all do drinking and all that um, so I feel like now someone's focus is like getting getting to know you like for real for real see what I'm saying the timing just wasn't right for us see that's what I'm saying when well, they say the timing, but no, um, it's not necessarily, necessarily that the timing wasn't right. It was just, you know, the time wasn't utilized effectively. I'm worried you reject me. Yep. And I feel like this person has somebody around them that has been kind of encouraging them uh, to speak up. I'll never get over you. I'm telling you. They don't feel a, a, the type of connection with with other people or anyone else, uh, Gemini's, that they feel with you. Worst, I assume, by JoJo, that could be either one of you, because a lot of times in the one-on-ones, you guys have this the a lot of worst-case scenarios in your head um, that haven't even happened. Okay, so please tell me what you want. I'm telling you, if if you tell this person something or tell them what you want, I feel like they'll make it happen for you. Because they don't want, you know, somebody else to come and take you away. Also, this is going to be very specific. But for some of you, you're dealing with a person and, and their family member, they have a family member that's also into you. Or also, like, has a crush on you or something. Child, um, I don't know, honey. Okay, so drunk... <laughs> text slash call so somebody gonna be giving you a drunk text 
$9.99. Yeah, child. Come on now, bro. That that would make sense. That liquid courage makes perfect sense. I know you still want me. I want you too. Mm-hmm. For those of you that are separated, one one one. A new beginning. I'm headed your way soon. Yep, to start fresh. I feel like somebody wants to start over, start fresh. Please don't give up on me. Yeah, child. It's coming. Be open to receive. So for those of you that want love, it's coming. There it is again. The timing wasn't right for us, which isn't a thing. Okay, but they may use that as a as a means to to you know. Please allow. Please allow me to fix us. Yeah. They may use the timing wasn't right as a way to be able to weasel their way back in. Um, but, you know, that, that doesn't take away the stuff that that's happened or occurred. Okay. I can't take the silence anymore. Let me get one more. You deserve much better than me. And I told you, and I feel like that's, that's kind of how they were in the past too. Um, with not feeling totally confident in themselves. But I do feel like they're going to get some courage, even, even if it's just for a little bit. <laughs> To say something to you, child. Let me get a song. Let me shuffle up, shuffle up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Gemini's. All right, shuffle. Oh, uh, Casanova by Gerald Levert. So, look up Casanova by Gerald Levert. That's insane. <laughs> Listen to those lyrics, you guys. All right. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe. Thank you for being here, y'all. Peace out.